All right, good morning, brothers and sisters. This morning I'm going to read a short segment from this book by Kenneth S. Wuist. It's called Gold Nuggets from the Greek New Testament. So I can put it up here. Gold Nuggets from the Greek New Testament by Kenneth S. Wuist. It's a very, very good book. It's a very good book. I'm going to read from page 22 and page 23. It says, Does he feel at home? Does he feel at home? It says, Paul prays in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17, that Christ may dwell in the hearts of the saints. The word dwell is from a Greek word made up of two words. One meaning to live in a home, and the other literally meaning down. Paul prays that our Lord might live in our hearts as, in, as his home. He is already in us. Therefore, Paul's thought must be that he feel at home in our hearts. Our hearts, that's the seat of your all intellect, not your emotions. The tense speaks of finality. The word for down, speaking of permanency. The full translation is that Christ may finally settle down and feel completely at home in our hearts. It is one thing to be in a person's home, another to feel completely at home there. Our Lord condescends to live in the heart of a sinner saved by grace. What an honor to have such a guest in our hearts. Do we make him feel at home? Does he have free access to all parts of our life? Or is he shut out from this thing or that? Is he our constant companion? Or are we occupied at times with persons or things that we feel are not consistent with our fellowship with him? Is he Lord of our lives? The invited guest to occupy the throne room of our hearts? Many have tried or Many have tried to make Jesus Lord of their lives and have failed because they have tried in their own strength. No man calls Jesus Lord except by the Holy Spirit, except by the truth. That is why Paul prays that we might be strengthened with might in his spirit in order that Christ might finally settle down and feel completely at home in our hearts. The secret of the Lordship of Jesus is is a desire that the Holy Spirit make him Lord of our lives and a trust in the Spirit to accomplish that for us. I'm going to reread that last verse, or last last sentence, sorry, it's not a verse. It says, The secret of the Lordship of Jesus is a desire that the Holy Spirit make him Lord of our lives and a trust in the Spirit to accomplish that for us. I love you all, brothers and sisters. Hope you have a blessed, wonderful day. Stay strong in the Lord. Jesus loves you.